Hello there, and welcome to Lesson 3 of Learning Rhino 6. In this lesson, we're going to go ahead and cover the three different ways that you can generally enter a command in Rhino 6. Okay? Now, these are, number one, the icons, which are these things that you can find, these little images that you can find on either the left or the top. Number two is up here in the tabs, which is very, very similar to just about any other Windows program that you're used to. And number three, you can go ahead and type them in. All right. Now let's go ahead and dive into these things. Over here on the left are the icons, and you also see the icons up top. Okay. Just like a lot of graphics programs that you may be used to, some of these have little tiny triangles in the lower right-hand corner. If you click on those triangles, you can actually get a submenu with a whole bunch of other different icons. You can grab this little perfect purple guy right here, and you can pull these icons out, and then you can go ahead and select them. So if, you, if there's some of them that you find yourself using over and over and over, that's one thing that you can do. Now, the second way to enter a command is to use these tabs up here. So for example, these are fairly logical if you think about it. You know, So just like any Windows-based command, if I would go to File, I can do things like Save, Import, Export, Exit, things like that. If I want to edit things, and again, think of this is a good way to begin to approach Rhino. Think about what is it that you want to do. You want to edit something? Do you want to view something? Do you want to draw a curve? And by the way, in Rhino, a curve, a straight line is considered a curve. Do you want to do something that creates a surface? Do you want to do something that creates a solid, a mesh? Are you interested in dimensioning your object? Would you like to transform it? And by transforming, do you want to move it, copy it, align it, twist it, bend it? Do you want to change it in any way? Tools, these are different ways to sort of approach and change and customize the tools that are in Rhino. Analyze, that's something we're going to get into quite a bit later. Right here, this is for rendering, which is basically creating 3D images of your objects. We will concern ourselves with the panels and the help menu a little bit later. Okay, so uh, the third way to enter a command in Rhino is just to simply type it in, right? If you think you know what the command is that you'd like to do, you can start typing and it will show up up here in the command line. I don't have to click on the command line to start typing. For example, if you are an AutoCAD user, you might be used to something which are called uh, legacy commands, right? A legacy command is a sort of thing that would work in just about any different piece of software that you're working with. File or save, save as, line, edit, delete, trim, things like that, okay? Now, if I want to type something in, all I have to do is just start, notice my mouse is down here, my cursor is down here. If I want to draw a line, which is probably one of the first commands you're going to do in Rhino, I can just start typing LI. And as I begin to type LI, you'll notice up here at the top, you'll begin to get an entire list of commands that start with LI. And I can just go ahead and go right down here to line. And then I will get that command line, right? Now, up here in the command line, this is going to tell you, basically walk you through how to do these commands, right? So it's going to say, where's the start of the line? Now, I can either just go ahead and click somewhere. So I can say, I'd like to click here. And now once I've done that, it'll say, where's the end of your line? And I can drag this line wherever I want. And I can left click there. And I've created a line. What I'm going to do now is delete this line. So I'm just going to left click on it. It's going to turn yellow when it's selected and I will delete it. Okay. Now, if I want to repeat a command, I can either hit the enter tab and you'll notice right back up top here, it says start of line. I can click it and click it again. Or now I'm going to delete it. I'm going to left click it. It's going to turn yellow. I'm going to hit the delete button. Okay. Now, Another way to repeat that command is to just hit the space bar. So I can hit the space bar, and you'll notice right up here in my command line, it says start of line. I can go ahead and click somewhere, drag it to wherever I want, click it again, and there I've got a line. Now, if I left click again, nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen until I hit either hit the space bar or the enter command, or in this case, I could go up here. I can cascade by clicking on the little triangle. 
click on that triangle, drag this thing out, and I can click on this very first icon right here, which is a single line. So I can click on that, and now you'll notice I'm in that line command again. So right up here it says command line, start of line. Again, I don't have to enter any data. I can just click here and drag, and there it is. Okay, so those are a few different ways to enter commands. Now, let's say we want to create a line using the tabs. I can go up here to curve, click on the curve, and then I can go down to line. Once I go down to line and hover over line, I have a lot of different options here, right? All of these options that I'm seeing here can also be found here. If I hover over them, it will actually give me a hint as to what sort of line I'll be working with. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'll just move that over here for time for the time being. So I can go curve, line, single line. Once again, it'll say start of line, click, and click, and there we go. I've entered it. So we've just seen three different ways that we can enter a line. A lot of times there are more, right? Now if I go over here to these tabs up top, I'm going to click here where it says drafting. Notice what happens to this set of icons on the left and this set of icons up top when I click on drafting. If I click on drafting, all of the ones on the left changed, all of the ones up top changed, right? And again, as I hover over these, it will tell me what these commands do, right? And I bet, since it's drafting, if I hover over one of these, sure enough, there's a single line. So we've just found a fourth way to draw a line. Okay, so like I said, in Rhino, there are generally a minimum of three different ways to enter a command. Now, over here on the, le on the right, you see this? It says line. We are in something here that is called command help. All right, you can, if you don't have this, and right up here, it's illustrated by this little tab that says help. All right, we'll talk about these a little bit in, probably in the very next lesson, what all these things here do, right? But Right here where it says help, we're in something called command help. That can be found by, in fact, I'm going to just drag this tab. I just grab the tab, drag it out, and I'm going to click on this X here to close it. Now command he help has been closed. And the reason I'm closing that is because I want to show you how to get to it. So if I go up here where it says help, and I go down to command help, I get that icon back or that little fly out and I'm going to go back here and put it I'm just going to dock it by dragging it and right now maybe I need it to be actually I'll just move it out here right so what command help will do and I'm going to make it larger this is very very helpful when you are learning Rhino but you will find that once you get good at it it's going to take up a little bit more um, real estate than you want. Now, what command help will do is it'll allow you to tour the Rhino window, navigate. You can basically learn a lot of Rhino things here. You can um, find little tutorials. So for example, if we want to learn about lines, right, or if we want to learn about, yep, right here, I can click on this and this will actually give me some tutorials, right? So you don't have to watch these wonderful videos that I'm creating for you good folks at McNeil have created some as well right but watch this if I go ahead and I'm gonna click back to my standard tab click in that line command again I'm gonna click on this line and watch as I do that as I click this line this is going to change over here in command help so I'm gonna click on this line and as I do that the line command comes up it'll do a few things for me it'll tell me where it is in the toolbar It'll also tell me where to find it in the menu, right? It will also give you instructions on how to do this command. It'll give you instructions on the options. So for example, you have the option to draw a line from both sides, draw it normal or perpendicular to a surface, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, draw an angled line. It will give you all of the sort of instructions in terms of how to draw and create that particular line. There will also be, more often than not, a video that you can play. So I can click on this video right here, hit play, and you'll notice there's never any 
speaking, but it will show you how to draw a line, how to work out these commands. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close command help right now, and the reason for that is I'm not going, hopefully, I'm not going to need it. And by the way, I do open this up once in a while if I've come across a new command that I'm not familiar with. Okay, so what we've just covered here are basically the three ways to enter a, d a command in Rhino 6. I'm going to stop the lesson here, and I will see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much.